So you might be stuck in a situation where for some reason Samsung DeX is not working. Now DeX is really cool, I love DeX a lot, and if it's not working for you, the first thing I recommend doing is making sure that Samsung DeX is even turned on within your settings. So make your way over to your, Sam to your settings within your Samsung phone, and you want to type in DeX just like how I typed it in right here. So type in DeX, and you should be able to see Samsung DeX come up here. And what you're going to want to do is just make sure that within Samsung DeX right here, you kind of have this capability enabled. And you want to make sure it was set up even to begin with. So first of all, start plugging in, start by plugging in your monitor to your specific phone. So you should be able to find that USB-C port at the bottom. Plug in your phone to that USB-C port to the monitor. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and basically click Start DeX. Now when you do that, it'll actually allow it to go ahead and start you know, finding different things around you. So that will pretty much end up working for the most part right there. Now, if that doesn't end up working, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure your USB-C port or if it's wireless, you want to make sure that there's no wireless connectivity issues there. And you especially want to make sure that there's no USB-C issues going on with your device either. A lot of the times, if you're getting issues like that, you're pretty much just going to have to go ahead and just make sure that you're not getting any like latency or you're not too far away from your device. And you especially want to make sure that USB-C wire that you're using is fully functional and it's working. Like I said, most of the time, if you're having those types of issues, those are pretty much the main things you're going to have to do. And anytime I've had issues like that, that's pretty much what I had to do in those specific situations. Now, if that's still not working, another thing you can try doing is going through and updating your Samsung phone. So make your way over to your Samsung settings just like this. And what you're going to want to do is you want to click on software update and you want to click download and install. And all you're going to want to do is download and install the latest update on your device. So click on install now and you should be able to install that update as you normally would. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.